Looking for the best AI tools that you can use to create digital products to sell online? Well, if so, you're in the right place because today I'm pulling back the curtain on my four favorite AI tools that you can use to create copy-based, graphics-based, art-based, and video-based digital products. Selling digital products online can be an incredible source of passive income, but the creation process can get a bit tedious and time-consuming. But with the rise of all kinds of artificial intelligence tools, it's easier than ever to save time and take a bit of the heavy lifting out of it and still create digital products to sell online that can make you major profit. So whether you want to create an ebook, printable wall art, a mini course, or any other kind of digital product, these AI tools can help you get them created and selling right away. So like I mentioned, we're covering the four main types types of digital products and the best AI tool to use for each. So first off, we're talking about copy-based digital products. Copy-based products are basically products that just use text. And for this type of digital product, my AI tool of choice is ChatGPT. There are all different kinds of copy-based digital products that you could create and sell online, everything from eBooks to how-to guides and manuals to social media caption templates to email copy templates. The sky really is the limit here. So let's go ahead and go through the steps that you'll take with ChatGPT to create something like an eBook. So first, before you ever even get onto ChatGPT, you'll need to think about and decide on your product type and the topic you're gonna to be covering. You'll also wanna think through who your target audience member is and what specific problem or problems you're solving for them. And step number two is to get onto ChatGPT and give it some context first. Before you ever even ask it to generate anything for you, you need to give it some information so it can understand where you're coming from. I like to remember this as the who, who, what, how context method. First, you're gonna tell ChatGPT who you are, then you're going to tell it who your target audience member is. You're going to want to get pretty specific here, giving ChatGPT contextual information about what types of problems or pain points or struggles your target audience might have. Then you're going to tell it exactly what you want it to create for you and how. The what is the type of digital product and the how could include things like tone of voice you want it to use, how you want it to come across, number of chapters, really any of the specifics that you want it to know ahead of time. So let's say I'm a wedding planner and I'm on ChatGPT wanting wanting to create an ebook that would appeal to people who are planning weddings. To give it this context first, I could say something like, I'm a wedding planner who wants to create an ebook for a bride who doesn't know how to plan her wedding. She doesn't know where to start, so I want to give her a guide that explains the process of planning a wedding from start to finish. I want it to be written in a casual, fun, and relatable tone. Please give me an outline for the ebook where each chapter addresses one step in the process. So this example sort of combined our step number two, giving context, with our next step number three, coming up with an outline. You could either come up with your own outline or you could ask ChatGPT like I just did in this example to help you come up with it. Once you've got your outline, then you'll move on to step number four, which is asking ChatGPT to elaborate or expand on different parts of the outline. You want to give it detailed and specific prompts for each chapter. Remember, your job is to guide ChatGPT through this creation process and the more detailed information you can give it and specific prompts, the better your output will be. So for this step, I could say something like, give me 10 problems someone might run into when planning a wedding and the solution to each. So at this point, ChatGPT is going to generate those 10 problems for me and then I can ask it to expand further on each, giving me more information that I can fill in each chapter with. I want to note here that it's great to use ChatGPT for these sort of brainstorming sessions or even to create copy like our ebook example, but it can never replace my own personal experiences and unique perspective on what I'm teaching on. So I always want to take what ChatGPT gives me, use it as a starting point and possibly edit, rearrange, or add extra pieces of information that could only come from me that are going to make my ebook even that much better. And once I'm happy with all of the copy for my ebook, then I'm simply going to copy and paste it into whatever program I'm using to compile all of it. It could be in Canva, it could be in Google Docs. There are lots of options here, but wherever I'm wanting to actually put it all together is where I'm going next. I'll make any final edits or changes to make sure that the voice sounds like me and all of the information is written out how I want it. And I would download it as a final file, which is the ebook I'm going to deliver to my buyers. Now we're about to move on to digital product type number two, art-based products. But before we do, I want to let you know, I have a free digital product masterclass that you're welcome to watch. It's 45 minutes long, completely free to you. And it's a deeper dive into how to start and grow a profitable digital products business. It's based on the four steps that I took to reach seven figures in my own business.
business and is gonna lay out for you exactly what you need to do from start to finish. So I have that linked in the description box below if you'd like to jump over and watch that after you're done watching this video. All right, moving on to digital product type number two, which is art-based. And my favorite AI tool for art-based digital products is Kittle. There are lots of different types of art-based digital products you could sell. Everything from printable wall art to illustrations for print on demand products, like designs that would go on shirts and mugs and tote bags, or even designs for digital invitations and stationery. You can create illustrations with Kittle's AI for all of these different types of products. So when you're inside the Kittle editor, you can come to the left where it says Kittle AI, and this will take you to where you can choose image generator. This is a prompt to image generator where you're going to type in a prompt that describes the image you want it to use AI to generate. So here I might say a sunflower in the rain. Then I can come down and choose the art style that I want it to be in. They've got categories of image styles, clip art styles, and vector styles. So I could choose something like acrylic or anime. Under clip art, I could choose watercolor, nursery art, kawaii. And under vector, I could choose something like line art or silhouette. I'm kind of interested to see what this would look like with the psychedelic image style. So I'm gonna choose that and click generate image. So here's the image that the AI generated for me. And if I like it, I can continue to work with it in my project. If not, I could always go back to my prompt, change out what I typed in or change the style and try something else. I think this time I'm gonna try retro photo and see what that generates. So here it's giving me a completely different image of the sunflower in a retro style. And let's say I like this, but I want to remove this background and just use the subject, which would be the flower itself. I can use Kittle's AI background remover. In one click, remove that background. So all I'm left with is the flower, which I can then use in my design. So once I've created the image that I want for my art-based digital product from Kittle, I can just download that final file in whatever file type I'd like it to be in. If you think you might be interested in using Kittle, you can try it out for free. I've got it linked in the video description box below. It's definitely fun to play around with and absolutely one of my favorite AI tools for creating art and graphics. Speaking of graphics, that brings us to digital product type number three, graphics-based products. And my favorite AI tool to create these with is Canva. When I talk about graphics-based digital products, I'm referring to anything like social media post templates, to presentation slide decks, or digital files for printable marketing materials like flyers, brochures, or business cards. Again, this category encompasses a wide range of different digital products, and you can use Canva to create all of it for free. So your first step here is to decide what type of digital product you want to create and come to Canva and create a project in the right size for that product. For this example, we're gonna create an Instagram post. So here in Canva, I've clicked on create a design and I'm gonna choose the Instagram post square size, which brings me into the editor with the right size square canvas. There are lots of different AI tools within Canva. So first let's come over to our text tab and click on magic write to use Canva's AI magic write text tool. This is gonna help me generate the text that I want for my post. So let's say that I'm in that wedding niche and I wanna create a sale graphic for 20% off my wedding dress designs. I I could come to magic right and give it a prompt like create a caption for a 20% off sale post for beautiful wedding dresses. Then I click generate and I can see that the magic right tool has now given me this caption that says say yes to the dress of your dreams with 20% off our stunning wedding collection. Discover elegance and grace at a price that will make your special day even more unforgettable. It's even given me some cute little emojis and some hashtags here. So if I like this, I can go ahead and insert this or I can click retry if I don't quite like the way this is worded, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert this which puts it on my canvas and allows me to edit further. So let's say I want to remove these hashtags and maybe there's a few other changes I wanna make, but I can't quite put my finger on what I need to change. I can come up here to the little magic write button and it gives me even further editing options. So I can do things like continue writing to make it longer, shorten it, rewrite it, make it more fun, make it more formal. There's lots of different options here. So let's say I wanna make it a little more fun. I can choose that one. And the AI tool now is rewriting this to have more of a fun vibe. So now instead of saying, say yes to the dress of your dreams, it says, say I do to the dress of your dreams and snag a fabulous 20% off our breathtaking wedding collection. So I can click to replace this if I like that version better. And then of course I can continue editing this by changing it into the font that I like, changing out the color and whatever else I'd like to do to continue editing this text further. And I might even add an extra little separate text down here saying 20% off sale. Okay, so now I've got my text pretty much the way I want it. I might want a graphic. So for this example, I might want a graphic of a wedding dress, but let's say I can't find what I want
want, I can use Canva's AI image generator to generate a wedding dress image for me. So I came over to my elements tab and underneath AI image generator, I wanna click on generate your own. Again, this is a text to image. So I'm gonna type in the prompt that I want. So I might say beautiful long wedding dress. I can choose the style I want it in. They've got everything from photography styles to digital art styles to fine art styles. But let's say I want it in more of a graphic style. I can click over from images to graphics and choose one of these styles like line art. Then I click generate graphics and it's given me four options of wedding dress images that it's generated for me. So whichever one I like, I can click to add to my design and place it where I want it and continue editing from there. Now I've got my text in my graphic, but let's say I don't really like the colors I've got going on here. I can always come to the left where it says design, click over to styles, and this is gonna give me presets for font combinations and for color schemes that I might wanna use. So if I come here to color palettes, I can see all the different available color palettes. And if I click on one, it'll start to apply that color palette to what I already have on my canvas, both the background color, the graphics color, and the text color. And the awesome thing about this tool is I can continue just with one click to click on this color combination each time it's taking a color from that combination and applying it to my canvas so I can see what color combinations I like best. And when I find one I like, I can stick with that. It also does the same thing under font set. So if I don't like the fonts that I've chosen here, I can look at these preset font combinations that Canva came up with. These are fonts that work really well together. So like I have here, two different fonts, I can click on one that I like and see what that looks like with the text I already have in my canvas. I can continue to click through on these fonts to see which one might be the best fit for my graphic. And once I find one that I like, I can stick with that. So here I pretty much got my Instagram square size post finished, but let's say I'm a digital product seller who wants to sell a bundle of these as templates. And I might wanna offer not only the square size, but maybe a vertical size for something like Instagram stories or a landscape size for Facebook posts. With Canvas AI Magic Resize Tool, I can easily take what I've created and resize it with one click as well. So I can come up to where it says resize and I can search for the resize option that I want. So let's say I want to resize this into an Instagram story size. I can type in Instagram story and there it's automatically got the Instagram story vertical size. So I can just check that, click copy and resize and it's going to automatically open a new tab with a copy of my design. So here I've got my square version. Here I've got my vertical vertical Instagram story size. And I can just make some slight edits to this to move the elements around where I want them. And now I can offer my whole bundle in several different sizes without having to manually copy and paste these over to a new project. Now you might've noticed this resize button along with a few of these other features have this little crown symbol beside them, which means that they are Canva Pro features and are only available to use for Canva Pro users. You can do so much for free on the Canva free plan, but if you think you might want access to some of these pro features, I do have a free trial for Canva Pro linked in the description box below. That'll give you Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So you can try it out and see if it might be a good fit for your business. All right, it's time for our fourth type of digital product, which is video based. And my AI tool of choice for this is Descript. Now, when we're talking about video-based digital products, I'm mainly referring to something like a masterclass, a training class, or a mini course that you might be creating with video and selling as its own product. Of course, with any video products, you're going to have to edit after filming, which can take hours of time and be really tedious. So thankfully, Descript has an AI tool that does a huge chunk of the video editing with AI so that you're not having to waste hours of time manually doing this. So here on Descript, I've opened a new video project, uploaded one of my raw video clips from a YouTube video that I was creating. And as soon as you upload your video clip, it's going to automatically transcribe it and give you the text transcription here on the left. So you can see everything that you're saying in the video is transcribed into text. And this is a text-based video editor, which is really unique. Most times with an editing program like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or even iMovie, you're going to be using a timeline to make cuts and adjustments in your video. But here you're actually just going by the text. Now there's lots of fancy stuff you can do with Descript video editing over here on the right, but we're gonna to come to the section that says Underlord. That's the name of Descript's AI assistant that's gonna give you lots of different AI features for quickly editing this. So with the Underlord assistant, we've got sections for sound good options, look good options, repurposing, and publishing. So under the sound good section, we can start with this first one that says edit for clarity. And if I click on that, I can choose what intensity I want this to edit with. And this tool is basically going to be removing filler words 
words, digressions, and making any of the obvious cuts within the text that don't seem to fit. So I can click submit here to make those changes. And then I can see here, it gives me a list of every spot where it would make a suggested cut. I can see those over here on the left in the text as well, where it's crossed out. And I can choose to either accept this edit or discard it and keep my original. I can do this individually with each of these suggestions, or I can come down here to the bottom and choose some different options for all of the suggestions, including one that says discard all edits or click done when I'm finished. Now coming back to the options here under edit for clarity, I can choose studio sound. This is really helpful if I've been filming in a place with lots of echoey sound or lots of background noise or static. This AI studio sound is going to automatically help the audio sound better. Then I can come down to the remove filler words section. So this is similar to the edit for clarity, but this is simply just to remove filler words like, um, uh, I can see the whole list of what's included here. And then I can choose if I want to delete these, if I want to just ignore them, but keep them in the script, remove from the transcript, and I can click remove all if I want to go ahead and just get rid of all of those filler words. Next, I can choose to remove retakes. So retakes are any time in the script where I maybe start a sentence and then start it again. Maybe I made a mistake or I repeat myself. I can use Descript's AI to automatically remove all of those retakes so that I don't have to individually take those out one by one. Now, the next one is one of my very favorites, and this is called shorten word gap. So you can see in my transcript over here, whenever you see lots of dots in a row, this is showing that this is a moment where I'm not speaking. I'm just pausing for whatever reason. Maybe I'm taking a sip of water or thinking about what I want to say next. So Descript calls these word gaps, and we obviously don't want really long word gaps in our videos. So normally I would be going through editing this, removing these one by one. But with Descript's AI, I can see all of the different places where I have a word gap and either choose to completely remove the gaps or I can just shorten them if I want to leave a little bit of a pause, but not much. I can choose how many seconds I want it to shorten it to. This way I'm shortening a lot of those pauses so the video keeps moving smoothly. Some other things I can do with the under the look good section is I can choose this eye contact feature, which is really interesting. It's a feature where if I'm not looking at the camera during my video, but I want to make it look like I'm looking at the camera, it can use AI to bring my eyes back up to where it looks like I'm looking straight at the camera. And then I can also apply this green screen effect. So this is an effect where it'll actually remove the background from behind me. So I can just have the subject in the foreground, which is me in this video and put something different in the background to overlay myself on top of. And then one other feature I love here is the summarize feature. So if I want a summary of everything I'm talking about in the video, let's say to add to my masterclass description or lesson notes, I can click submit here to have Descript's AI summarize this whole video for me. So here it's given me a summary that I can literally just copy and paste into a description if I want, or use this as a starting point to write out what this video is all about. So as you can see, Descript has so many options for AI video editing that can save you a lot of time. If you're interested in trying out Descript, you can try it completely for free. I've got the link in the description box below. These are affiliate links. So if you give it a try and you end up using it as a tool, then I do get a small commission from that at no extra charge to you. So it's a wonderful way that you can support our channel. And we're truly grateful for that. And you can rest assured and know that we never suggest any tools or products that we don't use ourselves and absolutely love and think would be beneficial to you as well. Remember to also click the link in the description to hop over and watch my digital product powerhouse masterclass. If you're interested in learning the four steps you'll need to take to start and grow a profitable online digital products business, then that class is going to be super helpful for you. Talk soon, friends.